Hey everybody, today we're gonna to take a quick look at the uh, new Visco Mini Arcade Bar Top. It's uh, by Unico, and I'm just gonna show you the box. Uh, this is a sample unit that was sent to me, and I'm gonna take a look at it. We're gonna open it up, uh, fire it up, and just kind of show you the menu and all that kind of stuff. But first things first, just show you the box. <clears throat> Again, I'm pretty sure this is like a final retail uh, packaging. Um, so just taking a look at it, the front of the box, it's got the Visco Mini Arcade. Uh, it's called the Visco Mini Arcade Bar Top, but it does say dynamic here. It doesn't have that branding anywhere else. Like when we open up the unit and take a look at the, the, the bar top and everything else, it's um, it's not showing that anywhere else. Uh, it does have the Unico branding down there in the corner. Again, you can see like Captain Toma Day. Again, this is a Visco uh, unit, so it's got 12 games from Visco, and the games haven't changed. So I did a video a while back, kind of announcing what those games were gonna be, and nothing's changed with that. It's the same uh, lineup, it's 12 games. And if you look at the bar top itself, it's got you know the four like Neo Geo uh, layout, four button layout. Uh, there are eight Neo Geo games, and then there's four that are uh, like just arcade games. But, um, but yeah, the side art has changed a little bit. Um, it's got Captain Toma Day on that side, and I think it's got uh, Gan Ryu on the other. So turning the, the box around, you can see there's some the game cards uh, for six of the games. And these are the exact same uh, images that you get in the, in the user interface. So this is the back of the box. So you can kind of see, it just shows the same, a, a different angle, I guess, of the bar top. And it's a mini bar top, so I'll show you some size comparisons too. And there's some more, um, so the, the rest of the, um, the game art. All right. And uh, that's it. All right, and then this is the top of the box. So you can see the, uh, it's licensed by Pixel Heart, so it's got that branding, and that's actually on the box, on the actual bar top too, on the side, and I think it's on both sides. But yeah, it's just a quick look at the box. There's really nothing underneath. It does have a nice little handle, so you can actually lift it up, which is cool. And um, the underside is really nothing, no big deal. In terms of the size of the box, uh, I just got this Transformers Optimus Prime Lego set, and it's about almost the same height. So, you know, it's a pretty tall box, but it's a lot thicker, obviously. So that's pretty cool. So we're gonna go ahead and start opening this thing up. All right, so let's go ahead and pop it open. It's pretty simple. It's just got a little basic uh, tab here. And just lift that up. A couple of flaps. There you go. So it's got a user manual. It's got the AC adapter here. Pretty much standard there. And then, let's see, we take this thing off and the bar top's inside. So it's, you know, protected by some foam and then some plastic. So I'm just gonna go ahead and remove that and then we'll take a look at the unit itself. All right, so here's the bar top out of the box. I uh, just wanna take a quick look at it. Take a look at the side art. Like I mentioned before, it's got this uh, Visco uh, licensed by Pixel Heart branding um, right there on both sides actually. So on this side here, it's uh, it's got the, the Ganryu um, artwork. And on the bottom, it has the mini arcade bar top. Taking a look at the front, there's really nothing here in the front. Um, it's got standard joystick. So I don't know, you know, it's don't expect it to be anything better than what you've had on the Arcade Stick Pro, the MVSX, or probably any other of uh, the other arcade uh, units that have been, you know, that have been out or released. It does have a kind of a short, um, I don't know, shaft. Uh, compared to what I'm used to. And if you wanted to take a look at this right here, like, you know, it's got, it's got the clicky. 
it does seem to have like a, is it octagonal gate? Because it does get stuck in all the different angles, right? So I don't know. Uh, the buttons are clicky and they're they're convex. So like the MVSX, I actually thought these were like gonna be like the MVSX buttons. Those are, um, are they convex? Shit, I don't even know. These are a little shinier, I don't know. Um, but they do have a little clicky sound. Like right here, there's no click, right? So that's probably dead space. But, and I don't know if this is like a wider, this seems wider than standard like Neo Geo. I'm not sure what like the actual arcade spread of buttons is, like the, the distance from red to, to blue or from button A to button D. Uh, but I mean, my hand's pretty, pretty sprawled out. Usually my Eagle Claw is like this, but I think I have to spread out a little bit more. Eagle's Claw Kung Fu stresses both. This faction of Kung Fu was exclusive to one school. Students imitated the behavior of eagles in fighting, catching, and hunting their prey. Um, but, you know, we'll see. Uh, the smaller buttons up here, they also click. This one doesn't. This one doesn't have a click, and this is the coin button. Oh yeah, so it's got the four buttons here. R, Y, G, B, right? So that's, that's good. They just, you know, mix that up. A, B, C, D. Hopefully that aligns with the actual games. It's got Unico branding here. Very uh, faint uh, striping, kind of like a MVS uh, system. Um, very similar to that. Uh, this is completely, uh, there's nothing I can compare to that. So that's just something uh, unique that they did for themselves. So it does have like the striping here. I just noticed this too, but like the striping's here, but then also on this side. So it's trying to play like a little bit of symmetry because uh, there's nothing on this corner or on that corner. I just noticed this actually. So that's, that's cool. You know, it's got the Visco logo here on the, on the bezel. So that's cool. And uh, again, the buttons are clicky. And then uh, it's got a marquee and it does light up. I think there was an, uh, one of the original images actually showed like four mini marquees uh, and it was like four of the games. Um, but I don't know, maybe this is, this is probably the, the uh, better way to go. That way you're not stuck with uh, just those four games. And uh, there's still eight other games. So what if one of your favorites isn't, you know, represented up there on the marquee? So that's cool. It does light up and we'll, we'll fire it up and everything. Um, and uh, there's the top. Oh, the speakers. They're right here on the underneath the marquee and above the, uh, the screen. You can kind of see the, the screen space. I believe it's an eight inch. It's an eight inch screen that's, that's in here. Uh, but yeah, that's it on that. And let's take a look at the back. So on the back of the unit you have, there's a USB port and I'm guessing that would be for an additional controller, for a player two controller. You got HDMI out, headphone jack, there's your power, and then your uh, power switch. It's a nice switch, I like that. Instead of the push button, I kind of prefer this. The MVSX has a push button and uh, it's kind of smushy, but this is, this is nice. That's cool. That's a cool switch, but um, but yeah, that's that on that. And then on this side is just what you saw on the on the uh, outside of the box. So it's Captain Toma Day. Good clean art, though. I mean, it's it's really clear. Um, it's not um, pixelated or uh, it's not. It's got a it's a good source artwork, right? So it, it looks nice and clean. And it is kind of a vinyl, and it's just kind of I guess stuck on here. There's no like other layer over it, I don't think. So it could probably get scratched up. Speaking of scratching up, I don't wanna screw up my wife's table here, so. Shit, all right. But yeah, that's it, that's the that's the unit. So the next thing is to fire it up. All right, so let's go, go ahead and fire it up. So you can see that the marquee lit up. That's a feature. And there's the Unico Splash logo. 
Uh, in the background, it's hard to see, but it's got like a little image of like Breaker's Revenge, Captain Toma Day. Kind of a cool little intro. Um, let's go see if I can zoom into this so you can see it better. So this is the user interface. Uh, let's see if I can. All right. So uh, it's got 12 games. It's got four Neo Geo games. So there's Captain Toma Day, Breaker's Revenge, Bang Bead, Goal Goal Goal, Gone you know, Road, I look at Andrew Duno, how much trouble people Bang have Bang with Busters, mathematics. Neo Drift Out. Those are the eight Neo Geo games, and then it's got four arcade games, which is Galmedes or Galmedes, um, Earth Joker, Maze of Flot, Asuka, and Asuka. I do have another video <coughs> where I'm kind of going into each of those games so that you can kind of see a little bit of the gameplay. Uh, I'll try to add a I'll, I'll add a link to that in the description. Um, so you can check out those the video because I'm not going to get into the actual games. Um, uh, I will fire up, you know, maybe Breaker's Revenge or some some other game, but I really want to just show you the interface, um, the settings, kind of some of the options, things like that. All right, so um, so yeah, these are all the games. It's kind of cool. I mean, it's got a nice basic interface, similar to what you see like on the I guess on the MVSX, but it doesn't have like. Um, like the angled uh, box art, which I prefer it this way, just to kind of show the artwork a lot better. It's, you know, easier to read. Uh, I appreciate the fact that the artwork, it has the artwork, but also the, the actual game title on there. It does have it on top, but I, I like, I would have preferred it not even have the title on top, but some people can't understand the, the fonts or the writings that are on there, but uh, that looks cool, pretty clean. Uh, I like the fact that it's got the years, you know, for each of the games on there too. That's that's actually something that I've seen before and like on the Arcade Stick Pro and stuff, but, um, but yeah, that's it. So let's go ahead and go up into settings and see what we got going on here. So push A in settings. You can select your language and right now it's set on English and then your game quality, which is like your, your screen, I guess your uh, filters. Uh, you have pixel perfect with all well, pixel scaling, uh, scan lines and smooth zoom. So uh, I would say that that's like pixel perfect scan lines hopefully it's scan lines with pixel perfect and then uh smoothing which is just like that uh, that blurry um effect that it kind of like smooths the lines and kind of looks a little most people don't like that it's not very popular and then you have um the game volume so we can adjust that and it does get pretty loud so i'm going to turn it down here Kind of like halfway point, maybe even a little bit more than half. That sounds good right there. And um, go down, you can start playing some games. Let's go ahead and fire up Android Duno. So there aren't a whole lot of shoot 'em ups, shooters on like the MVSX or Arcade Stick Pro or even the Neo Geo Mini. The Neo Geo Mini probably has the best um, Neo Geo uh, variety in in out of any of the um, recently released. SNK licensed uh, products. Uh, so the Neo Geo Mini, the Japanese version and the uh, international version, they had different game lineups, but they both had a solid uh, mix of games. Um, I would argue with anyone uh, that says otherwise. Um, I prefer the international version because it has Last Resort and that's one of my favorite games. Uh, it's got a lot of other games too, Metal Slugs and all that good stuff. But uh, as far as shoot 'em ups, uh, shooters, there really aren't, um, there, there's not a lot of variety in, in most of these systems. This one actually is a little heavy on on, sh on shooters. Uh, so it's got Andro Dunos, uh, it has Captain Tomade, it's got Asuka and Asuka, uh, Earth Joker, and Galmedi. So it's got a good, you know, a good amount of, um, good representation of some shoot 'em ups for, for Visco. That's cool. It's got a couple of racing games where it's got Neo Drift Out, which is a racing game, but then it's got that Maze of Flot which is you know, you're using like a little car to go through like a little maze and stuff so there's two vehicle based games and then there's um some puzzle games uh there's a sports game there and uh it's got one fighting game so this is like a you know heavy it's got eight neo geo games and only out of out of those eight only one of them is a fighting game so that's that's different definitely different and unique and um and, uh, and then it's got Gan Ryu, which is like kind of a side-scrolling uh, hack-and-slash uh, adventure action game, right? 
<clears throat> so that's cool. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and fire up Androdunos just so you can see kind of how it works, how it looks, how it starts up. So we're going to go ahead and add some coins right here in the coin button, right here. Uh, that's a very familiar sound. It's like music to my ears. And then uh, let's go ahead and start the game. So we'll push uh, player one. I'm going to turn it up. I'm going to see if it gets like kind of distorted because it seemed like really loud. All right. So here we go. Cover your ears. I mean, it gets really loud, and it's not bad. It didn't get like real scratchy or distorted, uh, but still a bit loud for my taste. So that's cool. As far as button response, I mean, let's take a look at that. So I'm gonna just push the button. I'm sure there's some lag there. I'm gonna push it like a lot to the. Let's go ahead and get it out of a game. Let's try a fighting game. Well, the the only fighting game there is. Breaker's Revenge. I guess I'll go ahead and start up another game after this. I'll do one of the um, the, the non Neo Geo games. So it should be, uh, what, punch, kick, uh, hard punch, hard kick, yeah. Is that a dragon punch? No. I don't know if he does. Um, if he has a dragon punch, I, have, I haven't been able to pull it off. He's got a kick there. Pretty responsive as far as rolling stuff out. special uh, all right so let's get out of this shit all right so now we're going to try one of the vertical games so this is already a small screen and if it plays the game the way it's supposed to then it's only going to take up like this little bit of screen right so let's go ahead and do uh, earth joker yeah i could already see it I mean, if this thing was to rotate, then it would take up the full screen, which would have been pretty awesome, but it doesn't have a rotatable screen. 
Oh shit, what did I do that for? Uh, okay. There we go. So yeah, it's got the right aspect ratio. So that's good, it's not stretched out to fill up the whole screen. But at the same time, it's a small screen, so now you have an even smaller, uh, you know, screen space to play uh, vertical uh, shooting games. vertical game looks like it'd been nice if you could rotate the screen though because then you'd have a bigger play space but all right so yeah that's just a quick look at it uh, well it's not quick it's going to be a kind of a long video but um yeah this is you know first look at at this system it's it's a real deal it you know it's a real thing um let me know what you think about it it's it's definitely uh what's that word niche right it's uh, it's not for everybody. I mean, do you have to be a Visco fan to really want to do this? Uh, oh, Ganryu, uh, I bet you the blood is green. Let's let's see that. I know, like when I played on the Neo Geo, I have to like change the settings in order to enable the red blood. So. I bet you it's green. Let's see. Is it right? Yep, green. Green blood, bros. Will they change that? Is that something they can change? Hopefully you liked the video just to kind of take a look at something that's new. Uh, this, this hasn't really been around anywhere, hasn't been released anywhere. I do have another video where I kind of talked a little bit about it, showed some pictures so you can kind of watch that video and compare the uh, what I had seen, the leak, the images that I would seen before versus what the final, what looks to be the final product. Um, if you want to take a look more in depth in the games and I do have another video that kind of shows about 30 seconds or so. Uh, I guess it's not in depth, but if you want to take a look at all the games. Uh, yeah, it's, you know, it's got a good variety, but let me know what you think. It's a new little mini bar top. Um, maybe I'll do another, ah, you know what? I'm going to do, a, I'll do another few moments just to kind of compare the size of this thing versus like some of the other systems. So here's just a quick look of how the Visco uh, mini arcade bar top compares to all other existing uh, mini arcade uh, units. Um, I don't have an MBSX hooked up to this or on this table because it's just much bigger than this. Uh, so this is like, you know, you can see here the Neo Geo Mini, Astro City Mini. I don't have the Astro City Mini V, but it's the same form factor. Uh, there's the Egret 2 Mini. There's the Capcom Retro Station. Uh, and then you have your Visco Mini Arcade Bar Top. So cool thing is, is the you know you can tell the buttons are a good size. It's got a good stick. You know, the, like what I was saying is that I think the um, the is it the, is it called the lever, the shaft? I don't know, but it looks a little longer here than it does on the bar top. That could be a good thing for some of you, but I mean, it doesn't have a lot of fighting games, so I guess it really wouldn't matter. It might be beneficial for the shooting games, but um, but yeah, it's pretty cool. I mean, it does have the Neo Geo layout, and uh, the buttons here are a lot mushier, so no, no click, and they don't really, there's not a lot of play. Here you got, it's a little bit higher, and you get that click, and then of course these are, nice but these are cool i think this is my favorite yes ah, that's nice and this guy is what the hell 
yeah. This is probably my favorite. Just, I just, I love the click and the stick too. It's tight and it has a nice click to it. It's pretty cool. But, uh, but yeah, that's the system. So you can see kind of how it compares in size. And that's it.